Alright, what is up everyone? In this video, we're gonna take a look at her constellation, okay? So, let's get down to business. For those of you guys who doesn't know what Ayaka does at C0 and, you know, her skills, then you can probably check out the video over there on the top right. Anyways, for constellations, if you take a look at it, it says when Ayaka normal or charge attacks does cryo damage to opponents, it has 50% chance of decreasing the cooldown of Hyoka by 0.3 seconds. This effect can occur once every 0.1 seconds. So what I want to know is after I use E and then I do a charge attack, how many times does that apply? We're going to have to take a look at that. Here we go. Oh, there goes $200. If I'm lucky, we're going to be able to see a lot of cooldown decrease. All right. So, as you guys have seen, you can't really, like, use E, charge attack, attack, and all of those good things to keep her on the field. But rather, you can probably get a little bonus here and there to lower her E cooldown. So, pretty much, better rotation. But I think it is to trick people to think that it's some kind of a new mechanism. Rather than just saying something like, oh, it reduces the cooldown for her E by 30%. It gives more of a fun, you know? Take a look at the skill and be like, oh, I must hit more. So anyways, let's move on to C2. And this, her C2. This is very hot. Do you know why? A lot of the people were complaining about how Ayaka's Q when Mihoyo advertised Ayaka. Ayaka was using Q in three ways. This is what makes her Q go into three ways. Let me go ahead and activate this. How much more damage do I do? And on top of that, I would also like to know if this makes her a better support. With her Q, it was more than good enough. But is this going to help her support C6 D look, normal attacks, and ease? Oh, they both jumped. That's good. Oh, what? I got stuck. I got stuck. Okay. Use Q. <laughs> okay, so here we are. This time, we're not gonna hold back, okay? We don't have to worry about... What if... She's not gonna apply cryo? Let's go. <laughs> okay, it makes her a better support. I don't really have to care about, like, attacking too fast with d look Because Ayaka hits too many times. So it makes sure that the enemy has Cryo. So I can use d look E, auto-attack, auto-attack, E, auto-attack, auto-attack, and E. I didn't even showcase my d looks Q damage. So anyways, we're gonna move on to C3. It makes her Q level plus 3. <laughs> what happened to what happened to, what happened to the geo bishop he disappeared he literally just disappeared Moving on to C4. When you hit the opponents with your Q, their defense is going to get decreased by 30% for 6 seconds. Alright guys, Ayaka is going to reduce this guy's defense by 30%, okay? <laughs> Here we go. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> so, oh, wait. Is he dying? Okay, anyways. He doesn't even know if he's dead or not. Is that Omewa Mo Shindiru? Nani? <laughs> Because we reduced 30% defense, I was able to do 130k E. C5. Her E level by 3. I don't think this is very good. I appreciate how they put her Q level as C3. I would say up to C4 would be really nice. C5 is just nothing. If you were to go for C5, might as well just go for C6. So, the grand final winner of this whole thing, this is going to make her to be kind of like Kaching. This says, every 10 seconds, she gets this buff where it would increase her charge attack damage by 298%. Not 300%, not 269%, but 298%. I don't know why Mihoyo came up with this funny number, but I mean, if it was to be a funny number, I would have taken 269% rather than 298%, you know? Anyways, this says that this buff will be cleared 0.5 seconds after Ayaka's charge attack hits an opponent. It makes sure that all her charge attacks will take this charge attack damage bonus, okay? So before we do this, we're gonna have to compare her charge attack damage. So before anything, we would need to understand how her charge attack works. So there's two ways, if you have her at C6, to increase your charge attack damage. After you use your E skill, your Ayaka's normal and charge attack damage will get increased by 30% for 6 seconds. And after you use Sprint and then you get the Cryo Infusion, Ayaka gains 10 stamina and also gains 18% Cryo damage bonus for 10 seconds. So the best way to use her charge attack is by using Sprint, come back out, use E, and then do a charge attack. Alright? So the reason why I took out Ganyu was because my Ganyu is C6. She has her constellation, so when I use her Q, I'll be giving Ayaka extra damage and... It increases as time goes, so there will be some variations. So to take out that variation, I took her out and I kept Sing Chu, but it's gonna be pretty much useless. We're just gonna take a look at how much damage she used to do with her charge attack. So here we go. Okay, we saw 12k, 12.8k times 3. Now her charge attack damage is going to be increased by 298% every 10 seconds. Which is pretty perfect for rotation. You don't want to keep Ayaka on the field for a long time. That's not the meta these days. Her constellation tells us that we don't want to keep her on the field. Even at C6. Because after that, it's gonna be a loss. Here we go. That's 18.9... Okay, oh, that looks very, very painful. Okay, guys, we have compared her constellation 0 to constellation 6. As we have given her constellations, she became a better DPS, she became a better support from her C2. I'm not saying she's like a support support, but being able to support pyro characters to do melt consistently, this is pretty huge. Some people flipped out when I said, oh, she's good at support. They're like, how dare you call her support? But no, only those people with four-star weapons with bad artifacts will not be able to distinguish between their support and Ayaka as DPS. So it really depends on people and their artifacts, weapons. But you have to keep that in mind that Ayaka is super, super good at C0. I know that you are probably watching this video because you were curious about whether she's going to be worth it or not. Or maybe if she should be spending your money on C6 or not. I would say because Ayaka can do both DPS and support, she's going to be a long lasting character. And kind of sad to see a cryo character owning everyone in their roles. But it was also good to see that Ayaka was doing pretty great with D-Look as well. So I will probably be using Ayaka a lot along with my D-Look. Because I'm almost done with my friendship team. So I hope you guys liked this video. What do you guys think about Ayaka? What do you guys think about her C6? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Adios.